Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, guys? Hello? Yes, teacher. Nice. Okay, so... Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening to teacher. Good evening, teacher. It's really evening. nice to see you again. Good evening, teacher. Good evening to everyone. So thank you so much, guys, for always being on time, for always showing part of your responsibility to be always on time. I do appreciate that. I had some issues, so that's why I couldn't connect uh, exactly at 8 p.m. But now we're here, so I want to know if you can guys listen to me clearly with no interferences in the back. Is that clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher, I heard clearly. Okay, yes, perfect. Teacher. Thank you very much. So uh, today, guys, we are going to have a practice before we start today's class. Uh, so probably we are going to have some new students today because the ones that couldn't connect yesterday are probably going to connect today. So um, before we continue to today's topic, as I said, we're going to have a practice and the practice is going to be about what we saw yesterday. Do you guys can tell me what we saw yesterday? Can any one of you tell me that? Uh, good night, teacher. Uh, we'll see other for frequency. Other, so frequency. Now, let me ask William. Hey, William. Hi, teacher. How are you doing today? I didn't listen to what you said. It's pro probably your microphone is not working. Hi, hi, teacher. Okay, great. So let me ask you a question, William. Um, we have expressions of frequency in English. Uh, in uh, one sentences. No. Do we have expressions of frequency in English? Uh, sometimes, okay. usually. Okay. All right. So, mm -hmm. thank you very much for that. Now, let me ask Elmer. Elmer, can you give me an example of one expression of frequency? <clears throat> Always, never. Mm -hmm. Uh, sometime, hardly ever. Okay. Um, I don't remember more. Okay, no problem. Now, are you really guys understanding my question? Si están entendiendo mi pregunta porque me están diciendo adverb. Yes, teacher. Teacher. Yes, teacher. Uh, una oración. No. In, in the sentence. No, what I'm saying is With that verb frequency. No, what I'm saying is an expression an that expression I need frequency. an expression of frequency, una expresión de frequencia, expression of frequency. No, teacher, I think you're mm -hmm. talking about, for example, once you know, once a week, twice once a week, a week, uh, yes. four there we times a day. Yeah, for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Thank you so much, Ibin. So let me share, guys, the screen with you. The, this one was actually part of one of the exercises that we supposed to do yesterday. So let me ask. Let me see. Ibin, give me a number from 1 to 10. 9. 9. Let me see. 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Wilfredo Mendoza. Hello, sir. Hi, teacher. Can you help me, please, Wilfredo, telling me which one is the right answer on number one? What do you think is the right answer? Jim, let it, let it. A, Jim never is, is at work. Okay, letter A. Thank you very much. Let me see. Give me a number from 1 to 10, Wilfredo. Uh, 
Uh, we usually have lungs. No, no, no. No, just no. give me a number. Tell me uh, a number. A number. Yeah, from one to ten. Um, anyone? Yeah. Uh, number. A number. Un número del uno al diez. Um, Seven. Seven. Let me see. One, two, three, four, <clears throat> five, six, seven. Mr. Eliud, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, Eliud, go ahead and help me with uh, with number one again, because uh, the answer that Wilfredo gave me is not correct. So which one do you think is the correct answer in number one? I think... Correct. Jim uh, uh, is never at work. Jim is never at work. So you're telling me that the correct answer for number one is letter D. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, yes. In number one, letter D is the right answer. Why? Because we have to remember the formula, okay? Iris Regina, can you help me, Iris, with number two? Which one do you think is the right answer? I think letter B. Letter B. We usually have lunch at 12 o'clock. Yes. Ana Noemi, do you agree with what she said? Uh, in the letter two. Yeah, um, number two. Okay, um, I am thinking the uh, literal eight. We have just a little lunch at 12 o'clock. Okay, Elmer. What do you think, Elmer? Uh, letter B, teacher. Letter B. And yes, and number two. Letter B is the correct answer. Why? We have to remember the formula we saw yesterday. So, uh, Nidia. Nidia, help me number three, please. Letter C? Letter C. She always yeah, travels yeah. by train. Katia, Katia Graciela, do you agree with what Nidia said? What she say, Nidia? I don't hear. She said letter C. Letter C. Uh -huh. She always travels. Yes, teacher, she always travels by train. Yeah, that is correct. So the letter C is the right answer. So let me see. Can I have a volunteer for letter uh, for number four? A volunteer. Letter B, teacher. Letter B. They B. sometimes B. go out in the evening. Yes. Letter B is the correct answer. So, guys, the reason why we're doing this right now, it's because it's very important that you remember the adverbs of frequency. And also, you have to remember the formula that we saw yesterday. What is the formula, Maritza? Do you remember the formula? What is the formula that we use with other verbs that are not the verb be? Uh, subject. Subject, okay. Uh, uh huh. The main verb. The main verb, okay. Um, complement. And complement. Thank you very much. That's correct. Now, Daisy Sarai, what is the formula that we have to use when we have the verb be or when we have a sentence with the verb be? What is the formula that you need to follow when we use an adverb of frequency? Is subject plus B. Plus Alba. And then? Do we have a compliment there? That's a compliment. Okay, yes, that's the formula. 
Okay, guys, today we are going to work in today's class. We are going to focus in pronunciation and intonation, okay? So I will need that everyone pays attention today because we are going to be working in your pronunciation. Why? Remember, pronunciation in English is very important. Why? Because if you don't pronounce words correctly, when you speak with a native speaker of the language, they are not going to understand what you're saying. Ustedes pueden pensar que están diciendo algo y en realidad van a estar diciendo otra cosa. So it will be a little bit embarrassing for you if you don't pronounce correctly. So that's why today we are going to be focusing on stress and intonation, okay? So just give me a moment and I will try to, uh, to share the screen with you. Just let me see. Just let me open here. Just, just a moment, guys. My system is trying to work. Here. Okay. All right, so here we have it. Okay. Can everyone see the slide? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. So as you can see there, it says stress and intonation. So today, as I said, we are going to be specifically on that part. Just let me, just give me a moment. Just let me change the language because sometimes my keyword doesn't want to help me. So I will need everyone to participate today because it's very important that I can listen to your pronunciation. So if you made a mistake or something like that, that is going to help me to verify if you are pronouncing the things correctly, okay? So first of all, I would like to have a volunteer or someone that would like to help me reading the first one. Katia, help me reading the first point that we have here. Let's go. Okay. All words that have more than one syllable have word stress. Okay. Now, no, it's fine. Just leave it there. Okay, Tish. Let me see. Uh, Vamos a ver, necesito un voluntario. Let me see a volunteer. Volunteer, any volunteer? Me teacher, me teacher. Okay, todos los que dijeron me, todos van a participar. So Elmer, Melvin, Anna, Noemi, I guess she said me. Okay. Yes, teacher. So Elmer, we we'll start with you. How do you make the pronunciation of the two words? ¿Cómo haces la diferencia en pronunciación de las dos palabras que tenemos on the chat? How do you make the difference in pronunciation of those two words? Hello, teacher. Uh, one syllable is longer. No, no, no. This, can you see the chat? Si puedes ver el chat que tenemos? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so let's go see the chat. Y tenemos dos palabras ahí. Can you make the difference or can you pronounce them so I can listen to the way that you pronounce those words? Go word mm -hmm. and word. Okay, it was, it was there, but thank you very much. Ana Noemi, let's see. How do you make the difference in pronunciation of those two words? Uh, just a chart. Uh, the intonation in the first uh, is word. Es como, como lo puedo decir en inglés. <laughs> es como más pronunciada al inicio y en la otra es al final. O sea, como en word es como al final la intonación. Okay. Let me Teacher. see. No sé si estoy equivocada. Mayra. Teacher. Yes, Mayra. In Spanish. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do it then. O sea, que pienso que es en la forma como uno como enrolla la lengua al pronunciar que se escuche más o menos la L en word no sé algo así al okay. decir word okay that's, lengua, you have a point you have a point there that's that's kind of there Gabriela would you like to to participate uh, creo que en, se diferencia en world o work algo así sería la pronunciación de ambos 
So let me tell you now. Now let me tell you. Vamos a ver. In the first one, para pronunciar mundo, as como alguien dijo por ahí, Mayra, I guess, we make or we pronounce the letter L. Pronunciamos la letra L. So we say world. World. You see? We kind of twist. Como que enrollamos nuestra lengua, we twist our tongue and we say world. So world, word. En la otra, no, evidentemente no hay una L. So we say world, word. So it's very important, es muy importante que aprendamos a hacer esas diferencias cuando hablamos, porque usted puede estar pensando que le está diciendo a un americano mundo y en realidad lo que él le va a estar entendiendo es palabra. So, teacher. I, yes, Mayra. Es como cuando se pronuncia tree y tree. Uh, yes, oh, porque el número, lo el número lo pronunciamos con Z al inicio y decimos three. Three con Z y el, el árbol lo pronunciamos tree. So, we have to understand. Tenemos que aprender a hacer todas esas diferencias in English. So we don't have any problem when it comes to pronunciation. So, o, o, yo también tengo, este, por ejemplo, cuando nosotros tenemos un contexto eh, mm -hmm. y queremos decir, hay palabras que tienen como igual significado, por ejemplo, el watch, el lut y el sí. Ahí mm -hmm. es necesario saberlo cómo aplicarlo en, en qué tipo de contexto, ¿verdad? Um, yes, yes and no. Yes, because sometimes it can vary, puede variar, depending on the context, but sometimes la llamamos sinónimos, synonyms, que los podemos utilizar de la misma manera, no necesariamente in, in a context. But you have, you have something there. So thank you so much for your opinions, guys. So let's move on. So it says in point number two, one syllable is longer and louder than the other. Number three, it says English words has its own rhythm. Word stress plays an important role of correct pronunciations of English words. ¿Sí? ¿Qué significa esto? El correcto estrés que le vamos a poner a las palabras. Porque no es lo mismo que usted me diga committee a que usted me diga committee. You see? El estrés se lo ponemos en medio. So we say committee and revelation. Revelation. Ahí hacemos el stress. So we say slender. China. So what does it mean? ¿Qué significa esto? Aprender a estresar las palabras en la sílaba correcta. Porque como le dije, no es lo mismo, lo, lo mismo que usted me diga China a que usted me diga China. So that's completely different. The stress... El estrés varía ahí, ¿ok? So, let's move on to the next part. Here, let me see. Um, Iris, go ahead, Iris. Help me read in this part, please. Okay. When a stagglet in a shred, it is pronounced. Mm -hmm. Long, longer in duration, higher in peak. Mm -hmm. Lauded in volume. Okay, thank you. So as it says there, when a syllable is stressed and is pronounced longer in duration, higher in pitch, louder in volume. So it says, ¿qué es lo que dice ahí? Que cuando nosotros pronunciamos deben de existir diferentes ritmos cuando nosotros hablamos. ¿Sí? Sube, longer in duration, hay veces un sonido se hace más largo. Higher in pitch, el sonidito se sube. Louder in volume, alzamos un poco la voz. So that, those are part of the characteristics that we have in pronunciation in the English language. Okay? So please, guys, try to pay attention today because this class is going to help you. Esto les va a ayudar a que mejoren su pronunciación. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? We're going to see some things later on. So try to pay attention today. So let me see. Um, Carlos Regalado, help me please read in the first point that we have there. Okay. 
stressing the goal syllable in a goal can make the goal very difficult to hear and understand. Okay, thank you very much. So, uh, one tip uh, para los que no están participando, si pueden ustedes escuchar la pronunciación y leer o tratar de leer ustedes lo que los demás están leyendo, eso también les puede ayudar. Lo que voy a tratar yo ahora es de cuando ustedes me ayudan a leer, volverlo a leer por si escucho que alguien está pronunciando mal. Ok, so you have to pay attention to the way that we have to say it. So, stressing the wrong syllable in a word can make the word very difficult to hear and understand. So, point number two, Ingrid, can you help me, Ingrid? Stressing a word differently can change the meaning or type of the word. Okay, thank you very much. It says stressing a word differently can change the meaning and type of the word. Uh, let me see someone else. Arribin. Tell me number three, please. Even if the speaker can be understood, mistakes with words, stress can make a listener, can make the listener feel irritated or perhaps even amused and could prevent good communication from talking, uh, talking places. Okay, that was good. So what basically saying there is that the listener, volvemos a lo mismo. Si usted está hablando con un americano, con una persona nativa del idioma, puede hacer que se sienta un poco incómodo, ¿no? Porque usted va a estar tratando de, de gastar su inglés y dándole y dándole a la palabra y no le va a entender. ¿Por qué? Porque no la estamos pronunciando bien. So, tenemos un ejemplo muy claro aquí. We have the third desert, the third desert. Si yo digo desert, ¿qué es esta? Desert. ¿Qué significa esto? Si yo digo esto y yo la, la entono o le doy el stress en la otra sílaba, cambian completamente de significado. ¿Sí? ¿Se fijan? So that's why it's important. Si yo digo desert, estoy diciendo desierto. Si yo digo desert, estoy diciendo postre. So, you see? ¿Se fijan cómo puede cambiar si usted no la pronuncia bien? Desert, desert. So Escriben that, igual, solo la pronunciación es la diferente. Yeah, we, we write it in the same way. Lo, lo escribimos de la misma forma, pero el estrés se lo damos en una sílaba diferente. As you can see, eh, when we say uh, desierto, la, the stress, we give it on the first syllable. Se lo hacemos en la primera sílaba. Decimos desert. And this one, postre, dessert. So we make a big, a little difference there. So that's why it's very important. With the information that I just told you guys, con lo que les acabo de decir, do you guys have any questions so far? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta el momento? No, teacher, it's fine. Teacher. Yes. The pronunciation in the, um, the words say, where the listener feel ir, ir, irritated. Irritated. Okay, teacher. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Yes. Es, También he escuchado bastante común eh, que la gente pronuncia teacher en vez de teacher. Yes. O yeah. también pronuncian yes. watch en vez de what. Yeah, Listen, let me... I watch TV. Yeah, you got you got something there. So vamos a tratar de explicar lo que Arabin just said. Lo que él acaba de decir. ¿Cómo hacemos la diferencia entre esta palabra y esta? How do we do that? ¿Cómo lo hacemos? Vamos a ver si alguien de nuestros compañeritos, algún voluntario, volunteer. Let me see. Yo te 
por la pronunciación uh -huh. o el acento donde se pone la primera, porque t-shirt, uh -huh. ya, para hacer, la otra es t-shirt, es como que más corrida. T-shirt, es como más corrida y la otra t-shirt, es como que va más como cortada, ¿no? Ok. Pues eso entiendo yo la diferencia. Okay, okay, that's fine. I mean, that's what you understand. Let me see. I saw the Melvin. Melvin, I saw that you raise your hand. Participate, Melvin. Siento que la fuerza de voz en teacher es en T. Y teacher sería como en cheer. Teacher. Hmm. Okay. Let me tell you that no exactly. No, no es de esa manera. La diferencia es que cuando tenemos una SH en inglés lo pronunciamos sh, como cuando arreamos pollos. Sh, 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 like that. ¿Sí? Usted va a arrear los pollos y dice sh, like that. So every single time, cada vez que tengamos una SH, vamos a pronunciar sh, como air going through your teeth, como aire que pasa por sus dientes. Sh, y obviously, y la letra ch como en español, we're, we're going to say ch, like that, ch. So we say t-shirt, teacher, shirt, teacher. That's the way we say it. Lo, un, lo único que cambia es los sonidos foneticales. SH suena ch. That's, That's, that's the only difference. Esa es la única diferencia. So, thank you so much, Arribin, for, for that example, por ese ejemplo. So, it's very important, ¿sí? Es muy importante que aprendamos esos pequeños detalles, ¿sí? Si alguien tiene una pregunta en lo que estamos viendo en la clase, make the question. Ask any question that you can have, okay? So, we, we can have everything pretty clear. So, uh, let's move on to another part. Uh, this one is pretty much the same, so we're going to move to the next one. Okay. Here it says, even if the speaker can be understood, mistakes with word stress can make feel the listener irritated or perhaps even amused or could prevent good communication from taking place. We have some other examples here. Tenemos otros ejemplos. Let me see. Uh, voluntarios. I can do the chair. Okay. What's what's your name? What's your name? Elmer. Is that you? Elmer. Elmer. Okay. Elmer. Elmer. Okay. Let me see. Vamos a ver cómo haces la diferencia en pronunciar esta dos la primera palabra. This one. These two. Okay. Present. Present. Excellent. That was good. That was a good intonation and good stress there. Thank you very much. We say present because we make the stress there and present. What is the difference in, 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 in meaning, in significado? Si yo digo present, me estoy refiriendo a qué? Como un regalo. Creo que es el verbo presentar. El verbo presentar. Present. Si yo digo present, es un regalo. Regalo. So you see? Se fijan por qué es importante pronunciation. This is very important. Okay, let me see. Melvin, I saw that you raised your hand. Vi que levantaste la mano. So, do you want to participate? Number two. Yeah, number two. Hot dog. Hot dog. Okay, yeah. Hot dog. Hot dog. Okay, so that's... that's Pretty basic, but that was a good pronunciation, Melvin. Thank you very much. Who would like to help me with number three? Any volunteer? Yo, Tisha. Okay. Go ahead. That was good. Pop pill, pop pill. That was good. Excellent. So you see, it's very important, guys, that we, we know that or we have to understand where to place the right stress in the word. So that is going to help us to make the right pronunciation of the words. Okay. 
So do you have any questions so far? Alguna pregunta hasta el momento? Questions? So far, so good? Eh, yo tengo una pregunta. Ok. Mm -hmm. Bueno, eh, para comprender o, o saber de qué se está hablando, porque me dice de present, eh, present, no es mm -hmm. lo mismo una cosa con la otra. Entonces, no, it's not. Eh, ajá, y para saber diferenciar la una con la otra, ¿Va a depender de lo que se, del entorno que se está hablando o cómo? Everything is going to depend on the context. Todo va a depender del contexto. Si usted dice, eh, voy a presentar mi tarea. I will present my homework. Pero si usted le di, dice, le voy a dar un regalo a mi mamá. I will give a present to my mom. You see, it depends on the context. Todo va a depender del contexto. Any other? El Any significado other? de pupil. Pupil, so es un pupilo. The same word. Oh, no. And in this case, it would say pupil, what we may reference, hacemos referencia a Eh, como la pupila, that like from your eyes. But if we say pupil, that's pupilo. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the difference that we have. So now let's move on to another part. And here we have, guys, rules. Rules of intonation and pronunciation. Let's see. Uh, can I have a volunteer for number one? Me, teacher. Who is me? Mayra, oh, that's you, okay. Let's go, Mayra. Number one. Yes, number one. I work can only have one stress. Stress. In a very long world, you can have a secondary street, but it is always a much smaller stress. Much smaller stress. What it says there is that we, we can have a word and this word can have just one stress. But sometimes there's some exceptions, we're, call, we're gonna call them exceptions, or some words which can have two stress. Hay algunas palabras que pueden tener dos stress in the same word. One is going to be higher or long, and the other one's going to be shorter or smaller. So we're going to see some examples later on, but it's just for you to know a little bit about how this goes, okay? Can I have another volunteer for number two? Elmer, thank you very much, Elmer. Only barwells are stressed, not consonants. Mm -hmm. The vowels in English are A, E, I, O, and U. The consonant are all the other letters. Okay. It says there, and it's very important that you have to remember, only vowels are stressed and not consonants. Okay. Most of the time, only vowels are going to be stressed. Okay. So let's move on to the other one. So here we have examples with two syllable nouns and adjectives, okay? So we have in most two syllable nouns and adjectives, the first syllable takes on the stress. Sí, que en la mayoría de, sil de sustantivos con dos sílabas y adjetivos, La primera sílaba va a llevar el stress. So we say samples, carton, colorful, rainy. Okay. So now let me see. Uh, Elba, are you there, Elba? Yeah. Okay, Elba, try to make the pronunciation of these words, please. Samples, carton, colorful. The last one? Oh, you don't see it. Rainy, okay. Thank you very much. So, is there any questions so far, guys? So far, so good. 
Remember, if you have questions, ask as many questions as you have so you don't have any doubt or something. Teacher. Yes. What is the difference? Care to and double, double, oh, oh. With double, oh. Oh, this will, oh, you mean cartoon. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. cartoon, uh, this one carton, generalmente, eh, o de una forma, eh, how do we say that? A very simple form, una forma muy simple, we can say carton, cuando nos referimos a cartón, like carton. Mm -hmm. But when we say cartoon, cartoon, eso es un dibujo animado, that's a cartoon. Okay, okay. Teacher. Thank you. Okay, I'm to, uh, sorry, I'm in cartoon for the um, the dibujo animado lleva la doble T, ¿verdad? It's a double T. No, it's double double O. Double O, okay, thank yeah, you. Double O. Mm -hmm. All right, so if there's no any other questions, so we're going to move on to the next one, which is, it says two syllable birds, verbos con dos sílabas, and prepositions. So it says that in most two-syllable verbs and prepositions, the stress is on the second syllable. So let me see. Uh, let me see. Arabin, Arabin, can you help me doing the pronunciation of those words that we have there? Okay, uh, the first one, relax. Okay. Receive, direct, among, aside, between. Excellent. Now, Vidal, Vidal Mejia, are you there? In relax. Okay. Receive, direct, among, outside, between. Between, okay, thank you very much. Now I can see um, Juan Eduardo. Hello, Juan, let's go. Relax, receive, direct, among, I see, between. Okay, this one we see the aside, okay? Aside, okay. that's the way we see it. All right, so I'm going to pronounce the last time, relax, receive, direct, among, aside, and between. So what I really suggest you guys, lo que les puedo sugerir es que como no todos podemos participar because there's a lot of people, traten de repetir las palabras ustedes en su casa. It's not necessary to turn your microphone on. No es necesario que enciendan el micrófono. Just try to repeat the words. Traten de repetir las palabras so you can listen to your own pronunciation. Okay? So, is there any question? Alguna pregunta so far? No? All right. Vamos. Yes, teacher. What okay. Is the, what Let's is the go. meaning outside? Aside. When you say it aside, is that, for example, you put something aside. Pones algo al lado, aside. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. All right. So, Espero que los que no hacen preguntas, ¿verdad? Estén listos para el examen, ¿ok? So, if you're not asking questions, yo pienso que si no hace preguntas es porque ya entendió. So, let's move. So, it says that uh, we have word endings in consonants and Y. So, if there is a word that ends in a consonant or in a letter Y, the first syllable get the stress. Si hay una palabra que termina en consonante o en la letra Y, la primera sílaba es la que siempre va a tener el stress. So let me see. Vamos a ver. Uh, let me see. Aquellos que casi veo que no participan. Let's see. Uh, Adam Wilfredo, are you there? Well, he's not there probably. So let me see Alberto and Alberto Enrique, are you there? Yes. 
Okay, Alberto, let's go and let me listen to your pronunciation and the examples that we have here. Rarity. Okay. Optimal gradient container. Container, okay, thank you. So now, Edith Araceli, can you do the same thing, please? Okay, rarity, optimal, gradient, container. Container, okay. So we have rarity, optimal, gradient, container. Okay, so be really careful with the stress you put there. So uh, let's move on to the next one. And we Teacher, what a question, what I mean gradient? I'm sorry, what? What I mean uh, gradient. Grad, gradient, let me, let me go back, let me see. This one, you mean, the third one. We can, we can use that in a literal way. We can say that it's something graduante, gradient. Thank you, teacher. All right. So let's move on to the next one, which is, let me see, can I have a volunteer? Voluntarios or voluntary, I don't know. Yo, teacher. Me, me okay. Teacher. Okay, let's, let's, it is, I guess, or who? Or who said me? Oh, Marie. Yeah. It's me. It okay, is. it is, okay. And then Maritza. So help me, it is reading the, this, this part here. Okay. For word en, ending with the surfet, mm -hmm. er, or, or, li, mm -hmm. the stress in place on the first syllable. Okay, thank you. So it says that for words ending with the suffixes, E-R, O-R, or L-Y, the stress is placed on the first syllable. ¿Qué significa? Cuando las palabras terminen en R, O, R, O, L, Y, siempre el stress se lo vamos a poner en la primera sílaba. Okay? Maritza, can you please make the pronunciation of the examples? Okay. Mira. Director, or, order, orderly, mm -hmm. manage, manager. Okay, thank you very much. Maritza, now, uh, Eliud, go ahead, Eliud. Yes, teacher. Uh, example, direct, director, order, orderly, and manager, mm. Manager and manager. Okay, thank you very much. Carlos, Carlos Regalado, I'm sorry. Carlos, let's go. Direct, director, order, orderly, manager, manager. Okay, so this one we say direct, direct, director, order, orderly. Manage, manager, okay? That's the way we do it. So with this information, con todo lo que acabamos de ver, is there any question? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta el momento? Eh, ¿cuál, es, ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre director y director? If I say dir direct, direct, directo. Director, that's un director. That's pretty much it, okay? So if there's no questions, supongo que ese silencio significa yes, I understood. What different um, between order and orderly? If we say order, it's an order, una orden. Order, if I say orderly, it's ordenadamente. Okay, teacher, thank you. All right, so let's move on to the next part. Teacher. Yes. Sorry. Oh, yeah, sorry. No, 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 it's no, no, that's fine. It's perfect. For a suffixes with the suffixes. What is the meaning? Suffix with the suffixes. Suffix. Yes. Son los sufijos. 
Mm. That's the meaning, oh. sufijos, okay? I know okay. this is very technical. Este es un lenguaje muy técnico, like in language, como en idiomas, like we have in Spanish, cuando íbamos a la clase de lenguaje, ¿verdad? Hay palabras que ni nosotros mismos las sabemos en español. Or grammatica. Yeah, that's, that it happens. So okay. This is a very, um, like very, very, a language that is commonly used in languages, okay? Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So, <clears throat> we're gonna go to this part, and in this one, um, these are words, le llamamos dual role, porque estas palabras son las palabras que cambian dependiendo el stress. See, that's why it says, in the case of words which can be used as either noun or verb, the noun will tend to be stressed on the first syllable and the verb on the last syllable. See, ¿Sí? que significa que cuando se esté utilizando como un sustantivo, la palabra se va a estresar en la primera sílaba. Cuando yo lo esté usando como verbo, la palabra la voy a estresar en la segunda sílaba. So, present, present, import, import, increase, increase. You see? So, let me see. Uh, Nidia. Can you make the pronunciation of the examples, please? Okay. Um, present, um, present, import, import, increase, uh, increase. Hmm. And the last one, and la última, tuvimos ahí un, a little bit of issues, okay? So, volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay, Daisy, and then we'll go with Wilfredo, okay? Daisy, let's go. Present, present. Import, import. Um, I no veo la última. Oh, you cannot see it? Um, no sé, no la veo. Okay, well, it's fine, leave it there. So, Wilfredo. Yes, uh, present, present. Okay. Import, import. Okay. Increase, increase. Okay, hay que fijarnos a donde llevamos el, el stress. See, ¿Sí? increase, increase. Increase, siempre en el stress, ahí subimos como un poquito la voz. Increase. Increase. increase, increase. Okay, thank you. Now, another volunteer, otro voluntario. Me, teacher. William, and then we go with, who was, quien dijo me? Me, teacher, Mayra. Mayra, so we go with William first, and then William, yes, and then we go with Mayra. Okay, William? Okay, teacher, present. Present. Okay. Import. Import. All right. Increase. Increase. Excellent. Now, Mayra. Let's go, Mayra. Present. Present. Import. Import. Increase. Increase. Thank you. That was perfect. Okay. So, as you can see, guys, that's why I told you at the beginning, this class is very important. Why? is going to help you to know the right pronunciation of the words. And we are going to be working a lot pronunciation. Sí, vamos a estar trabajando mucho en esa pronunciación. A lot. Sí, así que sin miedo al éxito, ¿verdad? Sin miedo. Aviéntese a participar. Si no lo dice bien, estamos aquí para aprender. That's why we're here, because we want to learn. Sí, si no, no estuviéramos aquí. Estamos acá. Porque queremos aprender. So, try to participate. Try to say the words. Si no sabe cómo se diga, dígalas. Que aquí las vamos a mejorar. Okay? Thank so, you, This is only a suggestion. 
So is there? Teacher, yes. Yo tengo, I have a question. What's your question? In great. Mm -hmm. So if I say increase, like increase, es como increment, like increase como un aumento. Por ejemplo, le aumentaron el salario. It's like uh, mi jefe me aumentó mi salario. My boss increased my salary. Pero si yo de esto es un aumento, increase. Pero si digo increase, yo estoy utilizando el mismo, la misma palabra, pero como verbo. Es decir, aumentar. Yo digo los precios van a aumentar. The prices will increase. Esa es la única diferencia. Teacher. Yes. What is the correct pronunciation? Increase and increase. No, it's increase. Por eso tenemos increase and then increase. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Okay. So is there any other question or algo otra duda, doubts, arrepentimientos, no? Questions? Okay. So silence is more than thousand words. El, el silencio habla más que mil palabras, so we're going to move on. So we're going to have this practice. Vamos a tener esta práctica y en esta sí voy a necesitar que todos me la digan. So vamos a empezar con Carlos Regalado. Let me see. La palabra que está en mayúscula es la que va a tener el stress en toda la oración. Así que necesito escuchar que usted me haga el stress en la palabra que está en mayúscula. The, the word that is in capital letters, ¿ok? Carlos Regalado, we start with you. The Greens will never agree to... No, no veo la otra, la última no veo. Ok, Pero. let me see. Otra vez, otra vez. Ok. The Greens will never agree to that. That, that was good. Maritza, number two. The Greens will never agree to that. Excellent. Katia, number three. Ok, teacher. The Greens will never agree to that there the greens I, uh -huh. the greens will never agree to that mm, uh, necesitamos un poquito más de stress para, okay, uh, <laughs> para enfatizar o sea okay try, try okay, once again again, again. Okay. the greens will never agree to that it was it was better it was better okay okay Thank you very much. Now, uh, Ana Noemi, number four. Okay. The cranes will never agree to that. That was good. Now, Elmer, let's go with number one. The greens will never agree to that. Elmer, we'll need more. We need a little bit more of stressing on the word in capital letters. Try it again. Okay, teacher. The Grims will never agree to that. Okay, that, that was way better. Now let's see Iris, number two. The Greens will never agree to that. That that was good. Now let me see uh, Wilfredo. Number three. Uh, the Greens will never agree to that. Mm, say it again. Remember the stressing of the word. Again. The Greens will never agree to that. Mm, we still we still have to do a little more. It's like the Greens will never agree to that. Oh, okay. See? Yeah. Again. Again. Do it again. Yeah. The Greens will never agree to that. Okay. That was way better. Now, let me see. Daisy, number four. The Greens will never agree to that. That, okay. Elude, number one. The Greens will never agree to that. Once again, Elude, we need a little bit more of stressing on the word. 
again. Yeah, again. The Greens will never agree to that. Hmm. The last time, Elliot. Last time. We need, we need a little bit more of stressing. Once again. The Greens will never agree to that. That was better. Thank you very much. Now, let me see. We go with Vidal, number two. The green will never agree to that. Can you say that again, uh, Vidal? Try to make a little bit more of stress in the word never. Little bit more, okay? Okay. The green will never agree to that. That was, that was better. Thank you very much. Ingrid Jamilet, number three. The Greens will never agree to that. Once again, Ingrid, I'll just a little bit more. Okay, the Greens will never agree to that. Okay, that was way better. Thank you very much. Let me see Nivia, number four. The Greens will never agree to that. Mm, well, okay, that, that was good, Nidia. Thank you very much. Arriving, let's go with number one, please. The Greeks will never agree to that. Mm, no, number one, number one. Ah, number one, the Greens will never agree to that. Um, I don't know if it is me. No sé si alguien más se le escucha ahí toda la televisión. Can you please turn your, micro your microphone off? Okay, thank you very much. Here I've been. Say it again, please. Number one. Yes, please. The Greens will never agree to that. Thank you very much. Now let's go with Boris. Number two. Okay, no, number two. Yes. The greens, the greens will never agree to that. That was good. Thank you very much. Now, Juan. Juan Eduardo, let's go with number three. The greens will never agree to that. That was good. Thank you very much. Now, let me see. Uh, we'll, no, you're already participating. Carmen Guadalupe, number four. The greens will never the Greeks will never agree to that. Mm, still, we still have a little bit more there, but thank you very much. Gabriela Unice. Uh, number one? No, number four. Okay. The Greeks will never agree to that. Okay, that was way better. Thank you very much. Now, Ana Mayora. Number one. The Greens will never agree to that. Once again, please. The Greens will never agree to that. Okay, we still need to practice a little bit more there. Emily, number two. The Greens will never agree to that. Once again, Emily, we need the, a little bit more the, of stressing. The green school never agreed to that. Thank you. Now, someone that hasn't participated, alguien no ha participado and would like to participate? Me. Elba. So let's go, Elba, with number three. The greens will never agree to that. That was very good. Now, let me see, Sonia, number four. The greens will never agree to that. Okay, so everybody participated, todos participamos? Well, I guess so. <clears throat> so yes. let, let me tell you now the way we have to do it and listen carefully. Number one, the Greens will never agree to that. The Greens will never agree to that. The Greens will never agree to that. The Greens will never agree to that, you see? That's the way we have to do it when we put the stress in those words. Now, is there any question, guys? Alguna pregunta so far? So far, so good? ¿Todo bien hasta el momento? Yes, eh, ninguna pregunta, teacher. pero fuera bueno, teacher, que nos compartiera esta presentación. 
Yeah, sure. I, I will do it. Uh, se las voy a enviar. Uh, as soon as we finish the class, I will try to send it through the WhatsApp group so you can have it with you, okay? Okay, teacher. All right, so if sure. there's... Yes. You have a question or something? No? What is your... No. All right. So if there's no questions... Uh, teacher, yes. excuse me. Uh, ¿Qué posibilidades hay que pueda enviar las... Eh, la del ayer y todas las de hoy. Uh, yesterday class. Eh, all, the all the presentation yesterday and today, teacher. Yeah, sure. I will. I will try to. I will try to send it through the WhatsApp group both. Si en algún caso se me olvida, verdad? Because I have a lot of things and muchas cosas. Please try to remind me. Traten de recordar. Okay. Please. Okay, thank you. All right. So. Uh, before we go, just let me tell you guys, remember to keep working on the platform, ¿sí? Recuérdense, seguir trabajando en la plataforma. Cada viernes vamos a estar haciendo evaluación para ver su progreso. Si usted no hace su progreso hasta el día viernes, se le va a llamar la atención. So I'm telling you since now. Se lo estoy diciendo desde ahora. But try to work on that so you don't have any problem. No tienen ningún problema al final, ¿ok? So that's going to be all for today, guys. Thank you so much for coming to the class. And see you guys tomorrow at the same time. Okay? See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye.